Hi, everybody. Uh, I am Fritz Robbins. Uh, I'm the Chief Technology Officer at Personal Capital. And I'm Ethan Lavasani, uh, Founding Engineer and VP of Engineering. And we're here today, we're going to show and tell our data-driven retirement planner feature. And uh, first, thank you everybody for showing up at 9 a.m., especially for a talk that has the word retirement planner in it. Uh, I really appreciate it. And luckily, we didn't even need to fall back on our original Findever-specific title. Cloud-based, machine learning, real-time, responsive, streaming, scalable, mobile, standards-driven, Node.js-based, secure, data science-y, agile, intuitive, data-driven retirement planner. Thanks for being here. We'll start with a short demo, and then we'll take a look at what's inside. So many of you uh, already know Personal Capital is the premier website and mobile app for managing your net worth. We aggregate all of your financial accounts in one place. We help you with analytics to manage your short-term money, like your income and your spending. And we also help with your long-term money as well, your investments and looking at your net worth over time. We provide a rich set of data analytics to allow you to see your full financial life from a variety of facets. And we recently launched our retirement planner. So let's take a look. To build your plan, we start by asking you a few questions about yourself, such as your age. Uh, we also would like to know a little bit about your household, uh, about your spouse or your partner, and whether you have any children that we should be considering in your long-term plan. We also show you your current savings, with, which is based on the data that we pull in, your aggregated data that we pull into our financial dashboard. And we also calculate uh, an estimated uh, savings rate. Again, looking at the transactions that are coming in on your financial dashboard, seeing how much you're saving each year. We do allow you to override these estimates and, and uh, uh, enter your own data here if you want. But we'll talk a little later about why you actually might just want to use our estimates. We ask you about your risk tolerance. Uh, we plug automatically uh, estimates for Social Security. And again, we, uh, we come up with an estimate for spending uh, based on your current spending patterns that we pull in from your financial dashboard. Uh, you can either take our estimates or you can enter your own. And this takes you to a base plan. Now, our retirement planner puts everything in one place. Uh, we've got your... Uh, projected portfolio value uh, throughout your lifetime. Uh, we take a look at your monthly uh, retirement spending ability, both your intended and needed uh, spending, as well as what we project that we, you'll actually be able to support over time. We look at uh, your income and the spending goals that drive your financial plan. And we provide a summary of how you're doing. Now, in this case, uh, the plan is looking, uh, well, looking a little dismal uh, because your uh, current spending and pr projected spending is much higher than your anticipated uh, 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 cash flow throughout retirement. So let's take a closer look. Um, in looking at, the, looking at spending, uh, we do plan for retirement. Most people you know, would like to be able to not work right up until the day that they die. And so we, we build in a goal for retirement and we build in uh, some, some planned spending. But we also allow for other major financial life goals, such as your children's education. Uh, you can enter um, if you want to do a home purchase or a major renovation, a wedding. Uh, if you really strike it rich, maybe you want to buy a boat or an airplane. Now, in this case, with the, uh, with the plan not looking good, we also want to think about what's going on on the, on the income side of things. Uh, as you see here, we've, we've inferred your current savings uh, uh, for you and projected growth over time based on asset allocation. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, we've got Social Security. But most people also throughout their life are going to be planning for some additional income that's going to come in. Uh, things like uh, maybe they'll have some rental income. Uh, or since this is Silicon Valley, Maybe we think that we're going to strike it rich with some stock options. So when we add these income events into our plan, well, things are starting to look a little better. There's a lot more that you can add uh, in terms of events, goals. They all show up on your, um, on your projections over time. Now, we show uh, your financial plan throughout your entire life. And uh, we show 
median market conditions uh, as well as negative market conditions. We combine your aggregated data, your input that you make to the retirement planner, real-time Monte Carlo simulation to come up with the plan. Now, there's a lot more that we could show about this feature, um, but I encourage you, if you're interested, to take a look at the feature itself um, on, at personalcapital.com. Um, I do want to touch on a couple of things, though, that are, that are interesting. First is our intention with the user interface to make it uh, uh, both easy and, and hopefully fun to you know, add goals, add income events, uh, see how things are going to change for you over time. When you have your plan the way that you want it, uh, you save it as your plan of record. Uh, secondly, we uh, really strive to not ask you to do a lot of complicated estimation yourself because we're aggregating your financial data, we're applying a lot of analytics to it, so we have a lot of that data. We know what you're earning, we know what you're spending, we know how much you've saved so far, we know based on your asset allocation how things are going to grow. So you don't have to provide all this lengthy information. Third thing is, this is an evergreen plan. It stays with you uh, uh, over time, and the plan changes as financial conditions outside change and as your, as your own personal uh, financial circumstances change. So that's a quick uh, overview of, of how the retirement planner works. Let's take a look at what's under the hood. Personal Capital's data-driven retirement planner, as, as you just saw, is enabled through our connected financial ecosystem by following three steps. Um, number one, building smart and real-time data streams from financial institutions and the market. This allows us to look at your past and present data to keep your plan always up to date. Number two, creating intuitive ways to capture your financial aspirations and future goals. We spend most of our energy making sure that every interaction is clear, adds value, and is based on the same quality data, regardless of the channel that you're interacting with us. And thirdly, generating actionable advice so you can see how to better achieve your financial goals. Let's take a look at these three areas in more details. We've partnered with different data providers um, to pull in your fragmented financial data into one comprehensive picture, helping you understand your financial standing and true net worth. As you saw, the retirement planner uses this data to calculate your assets and liabilities, your saving and spending, and even your asset allocation. This is important since using aggregated data is not only convenient for users, but in some cases, is also more accurate. Let me give you an interesting example. We asked more than 10,000 of our users um, one, one question. How much do you save each year? We found a significant discrepancy between their answers and their actual savings using aggregated data. Many of our users overestimated their savings, as you can imagine. This is understandable because if I ask you how much you save for retirement, you might add up your 401k and your spouse's 401k and any company matching. Um, but you might not consider that you're also taking money out um, to fund the Little Jimmy's education or a new exciting home improvement project that you just started. If you do, then your net savings is, is much less. This is why for some questions, using aggregated data is superior to user-reported data. But to ensure accuracy, we first have to increase the quality of the data streams themselves. Let's see how we do that. Financial data from aggregation service providers is gold. Um, but early on, we learned that it's like a gold ore. You have to polish it and improve it to make it truly valuable for generating quality advice. So we have invested in techniques to further enrich that data by creating specialized classifiers and machine learning algorithms. Here are a couple of examples. In the real world, we often don't operate with truth data. And that is why we extensively use unsupervised machine learning, mainly time series analysis and k-mean clustering, um, to identify recurring events like contribution, income, and management fees. And in addition, we have designed our system so our users, financial advisors, and even data scientists can 
provide corrections on top of the raw aggregation data. We then take these truth data to train or supervise machine learning models. This allows us to bring the true gold hidden in the raw aggregation data, the insights, such as investment fees, true spending, and detecting life events like changing a job. So one of the benefits of the aggregated investment data is that we can provide you with a detailed view of your asset allocation across your entire portfolio. And this includes looking inside of mutual funds, looking inside of ETFs and, and 529s. And if you study modern portfolio theory, you probably understand that your asset allocation is generally considered to be the single best determinant of your long-term financial portfolio health. Each asset class has its own performance characteristics over time as well. And when asset classes are negatively correlated, uh, like when long-term stocks are going up, alternatives like gold are going down, this can help you manage your risk while also getting the upside benefits of asset values that are rising. And knowing your act actual asset allocation and then combining it with the performance of different asset classes over time allows us to simulate future performance of your personal portfolio under different market conditions. This also allows us to keep your retirement plan up to date with large movements in the market. Is it, did anybody's uh, portfolio go down a little bit in the last couple of months? If your retirement plan needs a review, uh, we'll send you a notification. So we've shown how we use data aggregation and machine learning to get a complete view of your financial history as well as your current state of affairs. But planning is about the future. It's about capturing your life goals and creating a plan to meet those goals. So we help you to enter your goals through your interactions with us, through all of our product channels, such as web, mobile apps, as well as through conversations with your financial advisor. Has anybody ever had the experience when you go to sign up for a financial service at your bank or your credit union and you have to re-enter the same information? It's almost as if their different subsystems uh, uh, weren't connected and they didn't really know anything about you. Um, at Personal Capital, we've connected uh, all of our data stores so that you never have to enter the same data twice. Every communication, notification, every conversation with an advisor, all of our advice is based on the same high quality data. As the picture here shows, we've also integrated our UI uh, with the CRM, Salesforce, that our advisors use. So the advisor and you are seeing your data in the same way, looking at your retirement plan in the same way, and creating a meaningful and insightful conversation. And just as important as the UI integration uh, is the deep data integration that we do on the back end between our data stores and Salesforce, using our multi-source data pattern. To successfully model a user's financial life, we need to connect to multiple data streams and data sources. Um, data from aggregation services, data gathered during a conversation with one of our dedicated financial advisors, data gathered during um, using the website or the mobile app, or data inferred from our machine learning systems. If you asked us what was the number one design pattern, that enables such system, our answer would be multi-source data architecture. The idea is simple. Track every value change for a data element and the data source of that value. And allow different data sources to take priority depending on the context in which the data is being used. Let's take, exa let's take the example of a client's risk tolerance, for example, conservative or aggressive, et cetera. Now, when you start using a, you know, our service, you might answer a question about your risk tolerance and say that you're aggressive. We would store that and identify the source as user. But in a conversation with your dedicated financial advisor, when you get more insight into what that really means, you might agree that you're more moderate. We store that value as well and mark, mark it as source advisor. We also run our own machine learning algorithms on your aggregated data. And when we see that you're holding 40% of your cash, I mean your portfolio in cash, we then mark your risk tolerance as conservative. 
And we store this value as well and mark, it, mark the source as app. Now, with the addition of each data source, how do we know which one to use? We do two things. Number one, we apply data hierarchy based on the quality of the data source. And second, when appropriate, we corroborate multiple data sources to come up with the best um, data element. With this design pattern, we significantly increase the quality of our master data. We make integration with other data providers simpler. And our users always have access to the best data from the most trusted source. The third part of our connected financial ecosystem is generating advice. Our advice and communication engine, that we call it ACE, is how we embody the knowledge and wisdom of our financial advisors and, um, and our investment committee so that we can deliver quality personalized advice at scale. <coughs> Here's how it works. We generate facts based on your aggregated, aggregation data and your financial goals. Some are simple facts like risk tolerance and others are complex, complex historical calculations. We then listen to the right triggers to generate the right advice for the right set of users. In the case of Retirement Planner, we recalculate your retirement projection every night to detect if there's a significant deviation from your plan. If your partner is going through a midlife crisis and um, he decides to buy a Porsche, probably you'll get a notification from us that you're, not, you're no longer tracking your plan and it's time to revisit it. Messages are machine generated, data-driven, and channel aware. This means that if you see a large cash influx into your account, we might send you a message suggesting that you can put it to work. And the message will be tailored with the verbiage and rendering appropriate to the channel, whether it's a mobile push notification, a colloquial style email, or an in-app alert. We want to be able to, de to deliver quality advice to all of our users for free. So we designed Personal Capital's advice and communication engine to scale by relying on key services from Amazon, Redshift, Elastic Cash, SQS, and SNS. For the first time, real-time financial data bolstered by data science and machine learning combined with complete goals and profile collected through multiple channels, combined with comprehensive financial advice delivered timely and through multiple channels, are used to create a truly data-driven retirement planner that empowers individuals and families to see the long-term impact of their short-term financial behavior and help them get ready for retirement and have a better financial life. Thanks. And I think we'll take any questions in our remaining 49 seconds. <laughs> so we did get a lot of questions. Um, it's hard to choose from, but let's see. Um, we'll go with, how does this compare to other leaders in the advisor market, like financial engines companies? Uh, well, financial engines um, is, uh, there, are, there are a lot of um, good advice services out there. Financial engines does a good job uh, specifically focused on uh, looking at your 401ks. Um, a couple, a couple of differentiators. One of the things that, uh, that we really try to do is to give you a broad, comprehensive view of your entire financial picture. So that's not just the accounts that we're managing, but things that you have at, at other brokerages, your banks, your credit cards, your loans, investment property, et cetera. So um, it's really not necessarily a, a, a question of, of depth in this particular case, but, but of breadth. We want to give a 360 view of your entire financial picture.